going on everyone Gilman back with live wealthy back with our daily Apple update video um, taking a look at Apple's price action for today some key levels of support and resistance to look at for the future and what the rest of the week could look like for Apple so let's get right into the video but if you haven't liked the video yet please go ahead and do that subscribe to the channel if you are new it really helps us out as we are trying to grow and comment down below if you are in Apple or what you think the future for Apple could look like so getting right into it taking a look at the one day chart um, what we see see is that Apple opened up pretty high at 115 didn't really stay there for too long um, but uh, you know over the course of the day we came down but we ended right back around 115 um, high 114s so a lot of price action in the day only to kind of end up where we had began the day which is good because it shows that you know there could have been some profit taking that happened um, but that we were we had enough buying power to sort of uh, or buying interest to sort of move right back up so um, taking a look here you know we were under view app for a lot of the day um, trying to break against it here break against it a couple times kind of broke over it but it wasn't until this uh, kind of midday point that we actually broke over it tried testing it again came up tried testing it sort of another time um, but then continued rallying up into the close which is a great sign for Apple um, there was a lot of, of um, you know positive momentum in the stock for today now one thing to look at when we take a look at the five day chart, however, is this is last Thursday, 924, and we had a good day, right? So we opened the day, um, we went high, um, and then Friday we went higher, and then today we went high, and that makes it three upward trending days. Um, the other thing that I would like to point out, taking a look at today's chart that we were just looking at is, you know, we close around the 112.42s um, and the lowest we got today was 112.78. So we technically didn't fill the gap, um, which is also slightly concerning because if we were to go back just a little bit um, to last week, I've made, you know, every time this happened, I talked about videos, so gap down, we filled it and then some, um, taking a look at you know this gap up and then we f we, we went down basically perfectly filled it um, throughout that day gap down filled it um, and you know you could go back down so this is you know gap down filled it um, perfectly actually right here we, we filled it perfectly so 112 that's exactly how high it came that day before kind of fading back out in the day my point being Apple typically is really good at filling the gap the fact that we didn't do that is slightly concerning um, the other thing that's sort of concerning is the fact that again we are moving up three days in a row and could we move up a fourth day in a row possibly um, but the likelihood of that happening is a little bit low so taking a look at some of the indicators um, you know one thing that I do want to point out is I believe I showed this in my previous video but it was kind of showing how Apple was kind of in this downtrend of making lower highs and lower lows for a while now basically since the sell-off started in tech um, but um, I had talked about how, you know, we had seen two green candles making higher lows and higher highs, um, which we sort of continued today. Um, the one thing, though, that is uh, good with this is we are, you know, for the third day in a row, our low that we made was higher. Um, and the high was also higher um, but again taking a look at this chart what we see here is the low on this day right 924 was 105 and today we closed at 115 so again a stock like apple almost a true trillion dollar company 1.97 trillion we've rallied almost 10 percent in three days so um what could happen in the future is we could see a little bit of profit taking um i'm expecting us to open I mean, unless we get good news. If we get good news, we might open higher, but um, otherwise flat, and then I wouldn't be super surprised if we see a little bit of a dip, maybe even filling into that gap, um, either tomorrow or sometime this week. But 
um, and then you know moving higher as we sort of move towards the iPhone 12 launch but taking a look at some of the indicators so this is a good sign right we're starting this uptrend um, hopefully you know tomorrow's pattern kind of continues this uptrend and doesn't break through anything so um, taking a look at you know the EMAs which I always do what we see here is today when it when it gapped up to the 115 level and then tried coming down it bounced perfectly off of um, the EMA lines right so when we when we hover over this what we see here it'll say over here the low for today was 112.78 and the 34 EMA is at 113 um, and then the 21 EMA is 113.62 but um, you know if we take a look at this this bottom wick of the candle here right it bounced perfectly off of this EMA, which is a great sign. It didn't break through that EMA, uh, sort of respected it and pushed forward. Um, and then taking a look at the moving averages, um, you know, we're kind of seeing that it's also doing well in that regard. It almost made it down to the 50-day um, moving average, but uh, again, the low was, we didn't get down there quite yet. Um, another concern that I do have is that we are fast approaching the 20 day moving average, which until we break through can act as a slight resistance um, before we are able to break through it. Um, but more so than that, um, I see a lot of resistance coming up around this point. Um, when we take a look you know, at these levels, there were times when we try to push up to this level. Um, but basically, the, the, so the question is whether this 118.87 serves as resistance Distance, or if it's this 120 level because as we see with this candle this candle and this candle on the 8th the 9th and the 15th you know those were kind of the highs for that day and then it pushed down um, breaking through it once in the middle um, but then we also you know pushed down that day so didn't really weren't really able to hold it so between this 118 level 120 level we could see a lot of resistance that built up with the fact that we have gone up for three days in a row fast approaching the 20 day moving average line um, all makes it seem like again not saying that we're not going to uptrend right i think apple's still going to uptrend into the iphone launch i'm just saying that 10 percent in three days is a bit bit um extreme i guess if you can say for a company the size of apple again we could continue that and i could totally be wrong but that's sort of what the technical analysis shows me um but yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys are long on apple or short on apple or you could be long on apple but maybe you think this week it'll kind of go down a little bit to test the 112s 113s maybe fill the gap just to see um and then that 113 level can act as support as well um but yeah i think you know long term we move up but with everything that i mentioned um i think sometime this week we could potentially see a little bit of a um a dip or kind of filling the gap or going downward before we go back up again um but yeah that's all i had for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed if you did like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you want us to do next um, let's be a bit better every single day and until next time